Now I know what I need. <laughs> what is this, 355? 355. Okay. My three. One, two, three, go! Alright guys, I'm here with my boy Alex from the channel Alpha Destiny. Today we're going to be hitting a bench, neck, and trap workout. It may sound totally random. We were both in Toronto for the pro show this weekend. We said we got to get together and smash a workout. We were actually talking on the phone before we came here, and Alex decided he wanted to do a bench off. So we're going to be going one on one in the bench press. We're both going to be maxing out today. And then after that, we're going to basically do Alex's specialty, which is neck and trap work. So you guys sit back, relax, enjoy the video. We're going to get into it. Let's do it. Let's go. Hey, listen, you, you run the show. You call yeah, the shots today. Right. All right. Started with some maxing out, right? Yeah. Hit all right. Max. All right. Then yeah. once we're yeah. all pumped up and everything, and yeah. the caffeine's hitting in, then we'll do some other stuff. All right. Neck and traps. Sounds good. Let's get all it. All right. All right. Yeah, that's actually like, literally right. perfect for that's me. Nice part too. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's go. Nice, man. Looks good. Let's go. Oh, man. Bench feeling? is feeling great today, bro. Yeah, that's this is a good day. Feels so smooth. The heights are perfect for me too. It's, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice benching with you because we don't have to adjust anything. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Usually, I do. So basically, right now we're just kind of pyramiding our way up. So we did two sets with just the bar, just to get nice and loose. Then we threw on one plate, 135. Now Alex is doing 225 here for I think four or five reps. We're just kind of doing, I'd say four or five pyramid sets working our way up until we get to doing singles. So then we'll probably do a single with 315 and then kind of based on how that feels, move up from there to a one rep max attempt. People ask me about that all the time. Like, should you wear a belt when you bench? I mean, for me, it just gives me something to kind of push yeah. my air out against, helps keep me tight and it helps me set up my arch better too. Yeah. So Same there's here, with no downside. So for sure. Especially if you're naturally a big archer, I find it just helps mm -hmm. us stay more stable. Exactly. One, two, three. Moving good today. Flying, man. Moving good. You got this. I'm telling you, bro. Let's get it. Easy way. Nice work, bro. Nice work. I didn't suicide either, so. You didn't suicide it? No. Do you find it better that way? Honestly, I do. Yeah, do it then. Do it then. Hey, it's man. just not as safe, you know. When you're grinding yeah. it out, you bro, feel like it could fall out at any moment. I'm not gonna let you die today. I understand. <laughs> well, here's the disclaimer. All right, Alex yeah. is gonna use a suicide grip because it's more comfortable for him. Not something we'd necessarily recommend, but for someone who's yeah. an advanced trainee, if it's more comfortable, then go for it. So, yeah, there you go. go. I don't if you want to hate, then hate. I'm just doing it for the extra bar <laughs> pack, and I think it might be a bit helpful in my hypermobility in the elbows, but uh, it's not something I advise. And I just started doing this recently, so. Like for me, when I'm benching, I literally think about pushing my thumb back in. It's like that's the cue to get my lats and everything tight. Yeah. So if I did a suicide grip, I would literally like, yeah. I would literally slip out from me. I hear you. But if you have it stably in your palm, I can see how that would be more comfortable because this almost forces you into like a more pronated position, right? Position yeah, 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 yeah. Two, three, ooh, yep. It's moving good. One, two, three. Easy weight, easy. Super easy. Damn, that was sick, man. Thanks, man. That, was, that moved really fast. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, that was good. Singles are worth that, man. It brings back, like, the powerlifting side. The powerlifting side. Power nice. There you go, the tank comes up. This is gonna move fast, all right? It's gonna move Ready? fast, for sure. Let's get it. Okay. Okay, on my three, all right? No problem. One, two, three. Oh, Very good. Quick. That was solid. Thanks, man. So that's another thing. If you're working up to some kind of max attempt, give yourself loads of rest time in yeah. between just to make sure you're recovered. And with these warm-up sets, do them nice and conservative so you don't hit the wall too early before you're one that you're gonna go all out on, right? General rule is you should do weight that you know you can do with good form. Yeah. That's the thing. Like if you're not if you're not confident enough to do it with good form, you probably shouldn't shouldn't have it on there. We learned that the hard way too. <laughs> the way the way you're moving today, man. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see, man. Could be you. Could it be might you. be closer than I thought. 
I think it's gonna be pretty close, but we'll see how it goes. As long as we don't get any miscues or anything. Nice. Too hype. That's what happens. Lightweight. Here we go, Alex. Here we go. One, two, three. All you. Nice work. It's moving good, man. It's moving good. <laughs> all right, man. My three, all right? Yeah. Let's go. One, two, three. Ah, here we go. Ah. Nice. <laughs> What's that, 335? 335, yeah. Nice, man. Got it. Now let the real fun now, begin. <laughs> now the challenge really begins. <laughs> We're so evenly matched, man. Like, I, I feel like our benches are almost exactly I, I the same. right now. Comment, comment below who you think is going to come out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put a poll up here. I want to see. I'll put a poll up in the cards who's going to win. Yeah. People, people might be on Honestly, our last reps were pretty even, I would say. Yeah, I'd say so, too. Yeah. Get in your zone, man. Do your thing, bro. The crazier, the better. I'll put some Ziz music. <laughs> Good old classic, man. Rest the sun peace. and moon. Rest in, peace. Rest in peace. Here we go. Let's get it. Come on. One, two, three. Let's go. Come on, drive, 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 drive. Drive. Shit, that was even. <laughs> nice work, bro. Oh, thanks, man. It's good, but I'm, I'm disappointed that it went uneven. It's okay, man. Yeah, man. It's a new facility, we don't have no chalk. Hey, now I know what I gotta beat. You gotta, you gotta beat it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the advantage of going second. Yeah. Pressure's on. Uh, let's go! Move pretty good. That what do you moved, think? That moved very well. Thank you, man. Yeah. I'm gonna have to watch it back. I don't know if my butt was up or not, but oh, you're you think it was down? No. That felt cleaner than the last one, to be honest. It looked, it looked very good. Yeah. I get so nervous, bro. I like haven't touched that weight in a while. Yeah. <laughs> 350. Yep. If I can have your belt again. Yep. All right, man. Let's go. Let's get it. Drive, 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 drive. Come on, all you. Drive, drive. Nice. Good, man. Beauty. Thanks, man. That's it. You redeemed yourself on that one. You, you redeemed yourself. <laughs> good job, man. That was good. Whatever you did in between that one and that one, it worked. <laughs> that was solid, man. 350. I thought I was going to win on 345 or whatever it was. Good turn. <laughs> Damn it. It's war now. One, two, three, ah! uh, Easy! Uh. Nice. Man. Good. good stuff. I think you have three and a half. Yeah? I, I do. For it, bro. I think you can do it. Thank you, man. It's your move. What's your try move? Try a bit more and possibly fail it. Well, I can leave it at that, but uh, I think I'll do another one just for Do another one? Yeah. 350 or are you going up? 355? Yeah. yeah. I'm with you, bro. Let's drive it. One, two, three. Here we go. Come on. Drive it. Drive it. Drive it. Drive it. No. It's all good, bro. It's all good. Hit my limit, man. Hey, man. You went for it, man. Good work. Thanks. Now I know what I need. <laughs> what is this? 355? 355. Okay. My three. One, two, three. Ah! 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 Up, up, up. Nice. Woo! There you go. Conclusion. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> that was a tough one. It was nice. Bro, our benches are, are like right there. Yeah, like five pound difference. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> man, that felt good. You know what? If, 
If you hadn't encouraged me to do that, I probably wouldn't have touched that weight oh, yeah? in a while. Yeah. Okay. So it feels good to know where I'm at. Yeah. Like in that somewhere in that 350, 365 range, I think. That's it. Yeah. yeah 350. That was pretty much close as close as I could yeah. bust out. But doing those like one RM, one RM, like you know, like one rep, one rep, one rep, one rep. It does take a bit out of you. Like Absolutely. if I was to warm up for a meet, I probably wouldn't do quite that many attempts. Really? Yeah. Probably not. But, but here you were trying to establish where you were. It's been well, so here I was, trying, I was trying to beat you. Oh yeah, I did that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was a fun yeah. process. For yeah, sure. it was good, yeah. man. That was sick. Your bench is really, really solid. Like yeah. technique-wise, everything in the are great. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. too. Yeah. That's amazing, pound for pound. Thank you, bro. Because yeah. you're, you're a lot leaner now too. Yeah. So once it's a free body weight, like competitive status, that's like it's very up there, you know. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it. Likewise. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate the competition too. For sure. All right. What's next? We can go out to some yoke stuff if you want. Let's do the yoke stuff. Yeah. yeah. Let's Why get you it. be all on my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hang with a who line for nothing. I see that we different, you ride and I double my don't do discussions on bragging about hundreds. Don't go to your places, I know that they sunk and don't call me your brother. So I basically do the neck curl, which is a standard movement of building up the front of your neck, okay? Neck flexion. It's very effective and anyone could do it. But uh, the only thing is you gotta wear a hat when it gets heavier and you have to use proper form. A lot of times guys tend to use their arms like a pullover motion or they're just constantly cr uh, crunching. So Make sure to thoroughly warm up with your body weight and just get that form down, get that movement pattern in. Now the squeezing thing, you don't have to do all the time. I just recommend it for your warm ups and if you're brand new to neck training. As you master the movement pattern, you can kind of just go like this, you know? And if you're a combat athlete of any type, this is advised. This is more sport specific. I'll do a few reps oh, yeah. like this you know? and, then I'll, and then I'll go side to side like yeah, that. Yeah, side to side thing. Love that. You guys do that. Right. It's a nice warm up, but I usually just do it like standing up, you know, this way. But it's kind of the same premise. Right. Very helpful indeed. So, like when I first started training my neck, I hated the feeling of it. Yeah. Now I love it. It makes me feel so much like bigger. Uh, it's yeah, a good, sure. it's a good pump now. At first, it just felt uncomfortable. Like I couldn't swallow. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? For sure. And actually, the pump stays yeah, quite a long time. Yeah, it tends to last. Yeah, 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 yeah. I noticed that. And, and the moment you're done, like you just you look so much bigger yeah, automatically. Right. Like that's right. the time you take your pictures. Yeah, that's right. Pumped up. Yeah. <laughs> get the thumbnail after this. Okay, so we're gonna do the neck curl, four sets of twenty-five with the weight plate. If it gets in the way, then you can take it the other way. Shout out to Rise for this awesome hat. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. The neck hat. And actually, um, see this. Yeah. You can you can either put it this way or that way, but this is gonna create more of a stable. Space. Right, right, right. I say four sets, twenty-five, using fast tempo, and I'm not using my hands. Okay, it's just the neck doing the work. Like I'm lightly gripping these. I'm not pulling with my arms. Okay, and I'm not crunching. See, I'm not doing this movement. It's all the way down, all the way up. Obviously, when using faster tempo not going to look 100% smooth, but you will feel it 100%, guaranteed. There you go. Try the faster tempo technique. There you go. That's the fighting style. Oh, that's nice. I like that. How's it feel with the uh, faster tempo? It's different. It feels yeah. unique. I like it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to experiment with it today, nice. and I'll let you know after I get I'll a little heavier. Feel that like? Pretty good, actually, yeah. Yeah. Feels nice and loosened up, but I'd like to go a bit heavier. Nice. Yeah. Definitely do that? Yeah. Let's go to 25? Yeah. Very high reps. That's when it becomes insane. The pump. Yeah, yeah. I can like see reps that. of 50 to 100 with a fast tempo will yeah. really blow you up, especially with like bands. Good. Honestly, in my experience, super high volume with a fast tempo has always worked best. Okay. And a lot of guys I've dealt with, it's always the same thing. And cool, I'll just tell the camera guys like four sets of 25. That's where it's at. Try it out. High volume, fast tempo. There you go. That's interesting. That's something I haven't shared before. So hopefully, give it a shot if you haven't. If you haven't, see, see how it feels. I'll say this, man. If you give that a shot. You get really, really strong with the neck curl and the neck extension and neck side raise. Fast tempo, 4x25. Right. You'll surpass that plateau, guaranteed. 45 pound plate, the diameter increases, right? Mm -hmm. So it changes the distribution a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, in many cases, the rubber is actually better. Oh, really? It's, it's closer plate? in some cases, yeah. Okay. That's pretty good, man. What's up? You can definitely crank the reps out, obviously, easier with the, with the faster tempo, right? I mean, oh, yeah. once I get to around a 45, yep. I can't help but use my hands more. You know, right. even just to stabilize the plate. So, also yeah. The weight is heavier on your yeah, neck yeah, and you don't yeah. want to crush yourself or anything. Yeah. But I, I would say this, right? I mean, if you're going to go really heavy, 
let's find the grip it a little bit more firmly. Right. Just be careful with the pullover motion. That's it. Right. That's, that's right. the number one culprit. But if you're just if you're just grabbing it here, right? Uh -huh. It's fine. It's yeah. not a big deal if you're actually going heavy. Yeah. And with volume work, it's you know your form's not going to be 100 percent crisp in the first place. Fair. Fair. So Fair. this is this is probably the heaviest neck curl you guys will see on this video. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing is these plates are thicker, right? So it's like <laughs> you gotta be careful. Like I actually want some chalk right now. <laughs> Savage. <laughs> You know what it is? It's my grip right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, let it go. It's a bit easier to stack the plates if you use rubber plates. So here I'm using a 35 and a 25. What's that, 60 pounds? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 60 pounds. I'm just gonna kind of feel this out. I'm gonna use that faster tempo again. Would you put the smaller plate inside? Yeah, I'll put the yeah. smaller one inside, yeah. and then you kind of, there you go. And you can actually grab it a bit more in. You want oh, like this? Yeah, exactly, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, this yeah, way yeah. it's not gonna slip whatsoever. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. I got you. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Let's go, let's go. Keep going. Finish it. That's tough, man. That felt good, man. Yeah. The key with the bridge is to make sure that you go all the way back. You know, full range of motion. There you go. That's where the maximum stretch is initiated. Mm -hmm. You gotta be a bit careful in this movement. Jeff just did the standard version. You can also do the Mike Tyson style. Like, kind of like a, high, a modified version where you're going to the sides. So I'm here, right? You can go down and then you're twisting. Oh, whoa. Right? So you're. So this is the maximum stretch, right? You can. And you can go explosively. And with a head harness, you could do it with bands as well. So kind of assisted in a sense. Right. We were just saying before we hopped into this, normally we use the head harness. Yeah. We were actually just talking about the neck flex. I forgot to bring it today of all th on the neck day. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna substitute some extensions with bridges today, which I think is cool because I haven't showed that in any detail here on the channel. Um, so we're gonna be doing two variations, the straight back and then side yeah. to side, which I've actually never tried before. Just as a disclaimer, this exercise I think does have a greater risk associated with it, Absolutely. a slightly higher risk profile, putting your neck in an extension like that. So just be careful, but I think, I think as long as you perform the movement safely, pay attention to your body, I think it can be an effective exercise. Get your butt down on the here, and then you explode back up. Right. Like a hip thrust, and you're going to the sides. So, so <laughs> this is such a weird angle. But <laughs> this is how I think of this. So yeah. I kind of set it up almost like I would a bench press. I get my scapulated press, yeah. I get my, and then I, I lift my butt up, and then from there, I curl back. That's right, that's it. And so now you're gonna go to one yeah, side. Yeah, and you use your arms, set. there you go. It's pretty simple. But again, I, I recommend you go all the way down when you're doing this, and you, and you go fast, explosive. That's what I'm talking about. How's that feel? Bro, that's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. I don't want to overdo it either. Like once I start to feel any, you know, bit of fatigue, I think I'm gonna call oh, it on that. Because yeah, I'm yeah. used to the extension, not. Yeah. That's intense. I'm gonna do them standard just back because yeah, I haven't done yeah. these in a minute. Stuff. Bro, my neck is gonna be so sore. It's Friday. <laughs> All right, so guys, here's what we're doing. Up next, rack pulls at the knee. So luckily Alex and I have exactly the same leverages. So we set up the barbell right at the knee here. And basically we're doing this movement, get an isometric stretch on the traps. And then also, once you lock out here at top, you can really get a good glute squeeze there at the top. So we're gonna ramp our way up, pyramid our way up in weight, doing three to five reps per set until we get to kind of like one max effort set. And on each set working our way up, on the fifth rep or so, we're gonna do an isometric hold right here. And we didn't bring chalk today, we're gonna to be using straps, but that's because we're not strictly trying to target our forearms here. It's mostly just the traps and the glutes if you're squeezing at the top, so. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the money show right there. It's really nice though, right? Yeah, it feels good. Yeah, it's like, it's just feels good, man. I feel that crazy stretch.
Already stretching the traps, guys. That's how you get yoked. Let's get it. Nice. Easy. Good. Better your last set. Yeah, thanks, man. It's very yeah. smooth. Got a bit of a better groove there. Yeah, that was nice. So, guys, we're gonna do the same basic thing here. We're actually gonna superset weighted dips with weighted pull ups because you're here already strapped in. Keep the weight the same. There you go. And we're gonna ramp it up. So, I think he said we we're gonna start with a 45, then do 90, so yeah. two plates, and then maybe try three plates. I've never tried that, okay. so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it'll be fun. Plus, yeah. everything's close grip, so it'll feel nice. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of get warmed up with body weight and then we'll start ramping. Yeah, there This is the heaviest I've gone on pull-ups maybe ever, bro. Really? Yeah. I think the most I've ever done is like maybe 65. Yeah. Pushing my limits. Yo, yeah, got it. Yeah. Let's go. Nice. Good stuff. Up, up, up. Chin up, chin up, chin up. Up, 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 up. Nice. Good rep. <sighs> Bro, that's heavy. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised you didn't half rip it, man. Yeah, yeah. Pull ups. Yeah, yeah. Your full range. No, I mean, if I can't do the full range, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. That was pretty solid. Those, those were clean reps. Thanks, man. It's hard to get that full contraction at the top, like with that much weight, but yeah, yeah, yeah. get probably 80% of the way there at least. No, it was good. It's a bit hard to get on. Hold on. Yeah, it's, it's not a bit. It's not good. Let's get it. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Alex. Crazy. Nice form. Let's go. Sick, man. Let's go. Come on. Good. Bro, that's nice. Making it look super easy, bro. I'm gonna do three for the dips. And I'm gonna pull it off and just do a few body weight pull ups. That's why I like training with people who uh, have set their limits high, you know? Yeah. Because you don't, like, I can do this, but I would never do it on my own. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Let's get it. Nice. <sighs> Nice. You can get a good bit of traction here too. Thanks, bro. Nice. Good stuff. Yeah, it's not too bad, man. Yeah, I tell you what. Appreciate it, bro. Thanks, man. All right, guys, that's a wrap for a workout. I'm gonna shout out my boy Alex for taking me through the toughest neck workout I think I've done, <laughs> at least in a while. Um, if you guys you know, enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I'll put a button to Alex's channel over here. Make sure you go check it out. He's got all kinds of really cool stuff on his channel. Also, I really love his approach about men and body dysmorphia and body encouragement. I really love that stuff. I'll have a video link below that helped me a lot and has helped a lot of people as well. It's fantastic stuff. Make sure you check it out. And I just wanna say thank you, brother, for taking me through the workout. Thank, Thank you guys too. for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.